Hi, and welcome to my November book haul. It's a bit of an odd collection of things this month. So first of all, I have Black Air, which is part of a new sort of imprint or series called The Galician Wave. These are all books that are written in an area of Spain called Galicia. And there's a group of people that are trying to get a lot of books that are written in that area translated into English. Kind of looked through the selection, and this is the one that caught my eye. The author of this book has been nominated for the Hans Christian Andersen Award and the Astrid Lindgren Memorial Award. Obviously those are great things. This cover is also quite cool. It is about a psychiatry student called Victor who gets a new patient called Laura. Apparently when Laura returns to the place where certain things happened in the past, it awakens the Great Beast, which I can only assume is um this one on the cover. And it says, once awake, the Great Beast has one year to achieve its objective. It kind of sounds like it has that sort of a monster calls vibe, but um, obviously I haven't read it yet. So I will report back what I think. I'm really excited to read some more translated fiction, especially when that aren't that well known yet. Then I have Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. I've heard so much about this book. Rosiana actually recently read this and we both donate to the local charity shop quite a lot because we have so many books. But I kind of stole this from her pile because I'm really interested in reading it. I've seen these covers around so much and so many people have been talking about it that I really wanted to check it out and see what all the fuss is about. Then I also got The Kingdom of Little Wounds by Suzanne Kokal, which I heard about during a press event at Walker Book. I think I took a note in my phone at that point that says request the syphilis book It is about a royal family in a Scandinavian city and within this family there is a disease making the rounds A mysterious illness plagues the royal family threatening the lives of the throne's heirs and a courtier's wolfish hunger for the king's favor Sets a devious plot in motion. I really really like this cover and also the edges of the pages are red Then I got sent two books for review by Picador in the US and the first one is the gigantic beard that was evil Evil, which I have seen in bookshelves before. The UK edition is actually massive, like I think it's about this big, but the US one has a different finish and is a lot smaller. And it is a graphic novel about what I can only assume is a gigantic beard that's evil. I really want to do another kind of five graphic novel reviews video soon, so you'll probably see this one in that video. And this is also a book I got from Picador, it's called The Boy Who Drew Monsters, a novel by Keith Donahue. This book is about a little boy who is drawing monsters and the monsters take on a life of their own and cause a significant amount of danger. I'm not entirely sure of the genre, I think it might be sort of thriller slash horror, but maybe more on the thriller side. If any of you have already read this, I would be really curious to hear what you think. Then I have a book that I'm borrowing from someone, I think I can show that in a haul, right? It is Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. I haven't read Eleanor and Park yet, but I have read Fangirl and I really, really love that. The book's about two women who are working in an office and the IT guy who is supposed to be monitoring their emails but falls in love with one of them. So that was my November book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've read any of the books, let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you guys later. Doei!